the Eurydice girlfriend was hot like me. <laughs> I, I must admit, when I said I'd do this, I didn't think this many people were going to be here. <laughs> it worse is I was getting ready backstage in the mirror thinking god I don't half look like my mum <laughs> uh, before I start uh, I'd like to say thank you for everybody anyway because I walked very well the other day and everyone was asking after me so that was very nice yeah no, that's kind of you all it was quite serious though I had I had a lettuce leaf sticking out my bum cheek <laughs> No, it was bad. The doctor reckoned that was just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I'd like to do is... Uh, <laughs> what I'd like to do is, be, being a pom, and obviously I wore my Christmas jumper the other day, and it is coming up to Christmas, and you've all been great, this cruise, and I'm not going to see you at Christmas, so I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year now. And, yeah. yeah. And I'd like to do that in true Pommy fashion, with a little bit of pantomime. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This is the story of Cinderella. Uh, th there's a difference though. Cinderella's dyslexic. <laughs> so this is the story of Rinder Seller. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> scores, emptying puss pits, <laughs> and shivelling shots. <laughs> By the end of the day, she was nooking fackered. <laughs> There's a kid over there explaining it to his dad. <laughs> Ring the cellar lived with her two suckly sisters. One was called Mary Hinge, and the other, Betty Swallops. <laughs> And they were right for a bullockers. And they both had Betty Sweet and Betty Swannies. <laughs> the Sugliesters had tickets to go to the Prance and Hinsey Ball. But the Cotton Runts wouldn't let Rinder Seller go. <laughs> Suddenly, there was a big fucking fang. <laughs> and her dairy fog mother appeared. Her name was Sherry Hithull. And she was a flight fucking thespian. <laughs> she turned a pumpkin and six mite wise into a fucking huge carriage <laughs> with six dandy monkeys who had huge halls and big bigs. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> she won't ring the cellar. You must be back by dim night, or there will be a cooking philosophy. <laughs> Ring the cellar was at the ball, dancing with the Prance and Hinks. <laughs> when suddenly the clock struck twelve, my stall crooking fighting said Ring the cellar as she ran out drinking bar sober roller. And dropping her slash glipper. <laughs> the next day, the Prance and Hints knocked on Rindercellar's door, and the Suggly Isters let him in. <laughs> well, with that, Mary Hinge lifted her left leg and let off a big bass. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Who's bus jarted? That's the Prance and Hints. Learn that for a looker over there, said Betty Swallows. When the stinking brown cloud had lifted. <laughs> it's worse that bit. <laughs> he tried the slash flipper on both the sugly isters. 
without success. And their feet, their feet stuck in funk. <laughs> he then tried the slash clip out over in the cellar and it fitted. <laughs> Fucking perfectly. <laughs> the next day, the Fransom Hints and Rinder Cellar were to be married. The Fransom Hints lived his life in looking butchery. <laughs> And Rinder Seller lived pairs with a fallen swanny. <laughs> but they both lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs>